Hey there, Buckaroo. Is that a Ford 390? You bet. Cast iron, four barrel intake. Yes, sir. Those are the C8 AH8. C8 AEH heads. Mm hmm. Pretty well stock short block. Yep, and C7 AEB rods. Oh, those are, those are all right for what it's worth. These uh, Hooker Super Comp headers, the same. 10 inch collector and 3 inch diameter. Got a Holiday 600 vacuum secondaries. Shyness adds like 5 horsepower, so. Yeah. 320 horsepower? Uh, not quite. Oh. Oh, well. So, yep, we had this lump of Ford cast iron on the engine dyno and. So, yeah, it didn't quite make the uh, 320 horsepower. First one we did with the Willys carburetor, I believe it was 735 CFM, for what it's worth. CFM isn't everything, but ended up making 275 horsepower and 414 pound feet of torque. Uh, made some real good numbers with that carburetor. Put the Holly on, made about 20, oh, it's not bolted on there, <laughs> made about 20 less horsepower. I'm you know, totally fine that it's going to be more than enough power to move the Torino and it's better than a 302 that would have been standard. So, Unfortunately, we uh, couldn't put the headers on because of the way the dyno was, but uh, they had some shorty headers that were put on there. So, uh, In reality, it's going to make a little different in the car than it will in the dyno. But. So yeah, factory 390 GTs is pretty much exactly what it was from the factory. Uh, C8 AEH heads, um, you know, 600 CFM. You know, I have the 4300 Auto Light over there, but uh, it's garbage, really. Uh, the Auto Light's carburetors are. Hollies are way better. But yeah, if you guys have any thoughts about the output numbers of this, I I'd be curious to know. So these are C8 AEH heads, which are not the same as the heads that came on it. Those would have been 390 GT heads, which are like C7OE heads, I believe. Something like that. The Ford FE casting numbers are all over the place, but I think they're awesome. I love it. But from what I can understand, the C7 OE heads and the C8 AEH heads, the only difference is uh, valve spring rate. And we actually ended up putting a little stiffer springs on these than came from the factory, or uh, than what the factory specification calls for. So should have made a little more uh, higher RPM with that, but it's all just theoretical, really. Made good torque and good horsepower, and I'm more than happy with it. I'm just glad it. I'm glad it didn't blow apart or blow a rod or anything, so. I want to thank you guys for continuing watching my channel. It's been really fun, and I really hope, uh, I'm going to try really hard, and by me saying this now, it'll really help me do it. I'm trying to make a short video uh, every week here for the next, as far, as long as I can. Make a, make a video every week about something that I've done in the car to keep you guys interested and keep, just keep video and keep content flowing, so. Uh, this will be t this week's short video. I'll try and get another one film today maybe we can get. And like I said, if you have any ideas on the factor ratings and stuff like that, I found another person who dynoed, another machine shop dynoed, a 390GT, pretty much the exact same motor we have here, uh, and they ended up with lower horsepower numbers than we made, so, and they, that was a Ferrari machine shop, I'll put that up on the screen too, but, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with the output of this considering they got very similar output, so. Anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. It'll run, or hopefully this thing will run.